Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to scroll to the top of any page by tapping your status bar. Now you may already be familiar with this feature if you've ever used an iOS device. It's included by default with the iPhone for example and it basically lets you quickly jump back to the top of a page by tapping your status bar. And we've actually covered a mod that will bring this feature to Android devices before, but that required the Exposed framework. Well, I'm sure you're already aware of this, but there are many devices that can't run Exposed right now. This is due to either an incompatibility with a manufacturer's skin version of Android, or updates to the ART runtime in 5.1. So if your device isn't compatible with Exposed, you should check out a new app from developer QMU. This will still require that your device is rooted, and I've found that it doesn't work with the Galaxy S6 but it should work on most devices. The app is called One Click Scroll and it's available on the Google Play Store for free. So search it by name to get it installed or if you're having trouble finding the app you can use the link in step one of my full tutorial on Gadget Hacks. Now when you first launch One Click Scroll the app will ask for super user access so tap Grant on the pop-up. From here you'll be taken to the main menu. Go ahead and swipe over to the right to check out the settings. Now I found that toggling the switch at the top of the screen off and back on helps to get things going quicker. But once you've done that, there's a few settings worth checking out. You can have the app start on boot so that you'll always be able to use this feature. And this persistent notification option makes sure that the service doesn't get cleared from memory. Beneath that, you can enable or disable the vibration feedback. And this last option lets you adjust the trigger area. From here, you can see that there are two spots on your status bar that you can use to automatically scroll pages. The one on the left goes to the top of the page, and the one on the right skips straight to the bottom. So use this slider to adjust the trigger areas to your liking, and when you're done with that, press OK. At this point, you're ready to try out the new feature. It should work with just about any app, but I'll demonstrate with Chrome. When you're way down at the bottom of a page and you'd like to skip back to the top, tap the left trigger area in your status bar. It'll automatically kick you right back up to the top of the page, and if you tap the right corner, it skips to the bottom. So it makes navigating long web pages a lot easier, and it doesn't require the exposed framework. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.